Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi my name is Madeline and I'm so happy that you are here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. Today we are going to be doing the 73 questions trend. I don't know if you guys have seen this. We're gonna fix the camera. Vogue has done this with different celebrities and stuff and I just think it is such a cool trend. So I'm gonna be answering 73 questions. Since this video is probably going to be pretty long because 73 is a lot, we are going to go ahead and jump on into it. What is your favorite time of day? I would say I'm definitely a morning person. I shut down by like 3 and I'm just done for the day. I'm just super productive in the morning. I get a lot done and I just, I prefer the mornings. I'm definitely a morning person. What's your biggest weakness? I would probably say my fear of failure because there are so many things I just straight up won't even try because I'm worried that I can't do it. What's my biggest strength? I would say like my willingness to help others maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's always hard to answer like what your biggest strength is or whatever, but we'll go with that. What's the biggest learning experience you've had? Definitely coming to college, I learned so much about myself. I've become a lot more independent. Also doing long distance with Ian has taught me a lot. What makes you angry? When, like, you know, when you ask someone a question and you already know the answer and you know that they're gonna lie to you and they still lie to you even though they know that you know, if that made any sense at all. What's one vice you wish you could give up? What is a vice? Let's Google it. Immoral or wicked behavior. So something bad that I do that I wish I didn't. I don't think I have one. We're gonna skip that question. I don't really like it. What are you most excited about these days? Today, actually, I got, or I figured out my schedule for my senior year of college and it worked out perfectly to where I am able to commute just a couple days a week and live in my parents house and save a lot of money there's some other things that i want to be able to do here um but i'm not really going to talk about yet but they will work out with me living here and being able to commute so very excited about that what's the best compliment you've ever received i can't think of like a specific compliment but i just feel like compliments that are more about like my personality and who i am definitely mean a lot to me when are you the most inspired so when it comes to like creating content and stuff i am the most inspired when i watch others content and sometimes i will do the same thing other times i'll do my own little twist on something or it'll inspire something else completely different but I feel like I get a lot of inspiration from other people's content. Sweet or savory? I am definitely a savory girl. What's the priciest thing you've ever splurged on? Literally college. But I feel like that's not what this question is about. The most expensive thing I've ever paid for is my trip to Cabo I'm going on this summer. Oh, maybe my car. What makes you smile the most? Definitely my dog. I love her so much. She's not here right now. She just had puppies actually. I don't know if I've said that on my channel, but when he had her puppies, and she is over with them for eight weeks. We didn't have them here at our house. Um, the people we got her from are having the puppies. So they are over at their little house. What's one thing people don't know about you? I hate these kinds of questions because I feel like I don't have any like interesting facts about me. Something a lot of people might not know like people that personally know me are going to know this, but like social media wise because I didn't really like make a lot of content on this especially on here i don't think i have anything about this on no i do okay i didn't talk about this a lot i was a college cheerleader for one year um we're not going to talk about why i quit but um yeah that's something i feel like a lot of people from like social media don't know about me heels or flats or sneakers so i feel like i wear sneakers the most because i'm an exercise science major and i work in two different gyms so i literally live in workout clothes but i love to wear heels so both what makes you feel the most like yourself? I feel like, I don't know if this is really what it's asking, but like when I go on my hot girl walks and my podcast going, the cute outfit, the Lulu fanny pack, and I'm just like 
manifesting my future and thinking about my future house and my kids and my dogs and all that stuff. I don't know if that's necessarily feeling like myself. I feel like I didn't really answer that question, but we're gonna go with that anyways. I took my own twist on the question, okay? What are three things you can't live without? My family and friends, this is bad. My phone, probably like the gym or workouts or something like that because I just love working out. Window or aisle seat? Definitely window. What's your current TV character obsession? So, I am trying to finish The Vampire Diaries because it goes off of Netflix March 8th and it is February, I want to say the 25th. Yeah, it's February 25th today. And I'm like halfway through season four so I'm not going to finish it and I could cry. But I'm not going to. We're not going to talk about that today. And my favorite, I'm going to go with my favorite character, Stefan. And I feel like that is like... Everyone and their mom is Team Damon, but I just love Stefan. I think he is just such an angel. I also really like Caroline a lot. Leather or lace? I don't really wear either of those things. I guess leather. I wear more leather than lace. What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? I don't do very many adventurous things. This, <laughs> this literally isn't adventurous, but I, when I think of like an adventure, I think of like on a voyage through the woods like that's just what I picture like an adventure you know and uh, when I think of that I think about when I was in like it's North Carolina like Tennessee side so like barely into North Carolina practically in Tennessee and I got to slide down a waterfall it was really fun and when I think of like adventure I feel like I think of that so would you define yourself in three words I got all the hard questions organized I feel like that is Definitely one of my like top descriptors of me. High maintenance. That's the word I want to think of. I'm high maintenance. I like what I like. I like to feel pretty. I like to be a material girl. I would say I'm pretty dependable for a lot of things. What's your current favorite piece of clothing you own? Okay, so I just ordered my or I just got my very first scuba jacket. I got the full zip and I need one in every color now and I want the quarter zip and I want the one without the hood. Like I want all the variations. I love it. That's a must have clothing item everyone should own. Okay, this is just speaking from my own perspective, but I feel like everyone should own a pair of Lululemon leggings to see how freaking life changing they are. They're so nice. My favorite things in the world. And I just feel like everyone, everyone needs to know that amazing feeling that is Lululemon. What's inspiring you in life right now? When I think about what I'm doing with my life right now, I think of like my content creating and stuff. So I'm gonna talk about my different creators, influencers out there. Um, Cass Tolliver, or her last name's Spinelli now, but I think a lot of her, her social media is split in half and half. But um, she's more known as Cass Tolliver because she just got married in like December. She is one of my favorite creators. I love her aesthetic. Um, you guys know I love Cami Carter. She's always been one of my favorites. Still um, such an inspiration when it comes to my own content. I love Lauren Norris right now. She is a vlogger that goes to University of Alabama. She, her channel used to be like a lot of sorority stuff, but now it's kind of turned into other content as well. I also love Julia K. Christ. She's actually also from Indian, which is really cool. She goes... Um, to school not very far from me. What's the best piece of advice you've received? I feel like this is so corny, but just like not changing yourself for other people. And I feel like that's something everyone struggles with at some point in their life, just like wanting someone to like them so bad that they would do anything. What's your pet peeve? We just talked about pet peeves at the beginning, but I can't remember what mine even was. Probably when people repeat themselves a lot, the same exact thing and like, it just drives me nuts. Diamonds or pearls? Only like real diamonds I own are these two little guys up here and I don't own any like actual pearls but a lot of my jewelry is like has like these have little diamonds on them like this is supposed to look like a diamond so I feel like I wear more diamonds not real ones so we're gonna go with that. What's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? So in the world we live in where half your face is covered, the first thing I always notice is people's eyes, obviously, because everything else is covered. But when you don't have a mask on, one of the first things I always notice is people's teeth. What's your biggest regret? 
I'm not gonna get into specifics and like name names because there's some crazy people out there that wouldn't like this, but definitely different people. Um, I dated in high school. I feel like the only serious relationship I had was with Ian, but cause like all my other like high school boyfriends were like three months. Like it was never anything serious. People that I dated back then, some of them were just a little, a little messy. And I just feel like a lot of the people I dated back then were very questionable. And I feel like that's probably my biggest regret, but I also learned a lot about what I do and don't want in relationships. So I don't want to say I regret it, but like I do. <laughs> Let's heavily play it on your music playlist right now. So I've been listening to a lot of Morgan Wallen. You guys already know. But let's see what's like my most recent searched songs. So you guys are going to make fun of me. But, but I've been listening to a lot of um, like Glee remixes. I don't know why. I forget. Oh, it's because what's the song? It's all coming back to me now. It's trending on TikTok. And I love Leah Michelle's version. I think it's the best one. And so then I was listening to like Valerie and a bunch of different like Glee remixes and they're so good. So that's what I've been listening to a lot of lately, honestly. What's your favorite board game? Dude, I hate board games. Ian's probably laughing if he's watching this video right now because I hate board games and whenever he wants to play a board game, I always suggest Candyland and he never wants to play Candyland. What's your guilty pleasure? That question just sounds so raunchy. Definitely like binge watching. Like the Vampire Diaries, I've been doing a lot of that. I, Me and Ian started watching Friends, and so I feel like that's gonna turn into another binge watch show. Or like absolutely binging someone's YouTube channel, and those are a lot quicker to go through because YouTube videos are obviously a lot shorter than a TV show. And so you can really like zip through someone's channel like that, and I just love to watch like 20 of someone's videos in a row. What book did you most recently finish? I actually am reading through Harry Potter right now. And the one I just finished is Goblet of Fire. I'm like a fourth, a third of the way through Order of the Phoenix. And I've been really liking them. It's my first time reading them through. I love the movies. Ian's obsessed with Harry Potter. So that's why I started reading them. And I like the movies, obviously. But he really wanted me to read the books because he said they're so much better. And they are. He didn't lie. What makes you feel accomplished? So I am a psycho. And I make a to-do list on my notes every day. And I even do the little box so I can check it off and everything. And I plan my day out, meal times, rest time, like everything's planned out in my notes. And when I get on at the end of the day and everything on that list is checked off, that is just so satisfying. I feel super accomplished when I do that. How do you start your day? With a big old cup of coffee, I'm typically up at five or six, sometimes four, depending on my work. And I start with a, I take a big, drink of water because I wake up so thirsty and then a big old coffee after that. What's your favorite holiday? Definitely Christmas. Are you more into looks or brains? Well, I feel like Ian is a great combination of both. If you could switch lives as one person for a day, who would it be? Definitely like a Kardashian or something. Maybe Chloe. I feel like Chloe's pretty iconic. What's one thing you've always wanted to try but you've been too scared to do? This is like... <laughs> Probably not the direction you guys thought this was going, but I want to learn to power lift and do a, like Olympic lifting. Like the gym I work at, there's a lot of power lifters and Olympic lifters. I just think it's so freaking cool, but I like am not strong and I don't know how to do it. So I'm like scared. Well, I know how to power lift. I'm just not strong enough to like be classified as a power lifter. What's the one thing that you wish you knew at age 19? What was I even doing at 19? I was a freshman in college. Thought the freaking world was gonna fall to shambles because COVID happened when I was 19. Besides your phone or wallet, what are a couple of your must have purse items? I have a charger perfume, deodorant, a lip gloss, a chapstick, just stuff like that. If I was not living in Indiana, where would you be living? So if I could pick absolutely like any state to live in or country or whatever, um, I would prefer to stay in the US because my family's here, so I'm not planning on living out of the country. I would say live that I would want to live somewhere in the South. Um, I love the idea of Georgia or um, Texas, which are kind of like opposite sides but I just love the south in general and I feel like I have a personality and lifestyle that's like cut out for southern living like I just feel like I was meant to live there if you are in a bad mood you prefer to be left alone or have someone to cheer you up I definitely prefer to be alone where was the best vacation you've ever taken so 
I feel like this is going to change because I'm really excited to go to Mexico this summer. But before then, um, probably the cruise I most recently went on. We went to Nassau, Moon Cay, Bahamas, Grand Turk, and somewhere in Puerto Rico. No, Dominican. We went to the Dominican Republic and that was just really neat. And I hadn't been to Turks and Caicos or the Dominican before so that was just really neat to get to see those places. This last summer Ian actually went on vacation with my family. We went to Destin and it was just really special because that was our first trip together and I love the beach so it was a lot of fun. What's one city you've always dreamed of traveling to? I want to go to Santorini. I want to go to Santorini, Greece so bad and I feel like that's so basic. Everyone goes to Santorini, whatever. I've also heard like it's very touristy because everyone wants to go there but I don't care, I wanna go there, so. What's something you always travel with? My phone, I don't know. My favorite food, spaghetti. Favorite snack, I eat string cheese, like it's my job, or barbecue chips. Those are probably my two favorites. Are you confrontational? No. What's one talent you wish you had? I wish I could sing. What's a movie that made you cry? I literally, I cry all the time, you guys. The Notebook makes me cry every time. Ian freaking makes me watch the most horrendous war movies and he's in the navy and just was everything happening in the world right now like i don't want to watch war movies and like picture that and he made me watch like hacksaw ridge the outpost american sniper those hysterical sobbing like they make me cry so bad what's your favorite exercise anything related to shoulders that's my favorite. What's your favorite band? I don't really listen to bands. We'll go with One Direction. I'm not really a One Direction stan anymore because they don't exist, but back in the day I was. What's a superpower you wish you had? I would love to be invisible just because like I'm nosy and I'd be, I'd want to eavesdrop and I just think that'd be fun. What's something you don't want to be doing in 10 years? Working. I want to be a stay at home mom. <laughs> What's the cutest thing on planet earth? My freaking dog. I love her. I'm gonna put a cute little picture of her up here. What's the best thing that happened this year? Me and Ian went on our first vacation. I've gotten a lot of really cool like brand deals and stuff and I've started getting invited to like vlogger events in India and stuff and like I just think that's really cool that I get to do that. I turned 21, I went to Nashville for the first time for my birthday. It was so much fun. And me and Ian got to go to the military ball for the first time, which was really cool. A lot of good things have happened this year. What's your favorite cocktail? So I'm a big fan of strawberry margaritas. Which movie makes you laugh the hardest? I don't watch very many comedies. Probably something like Step Brothers or Dodgeball. What do you usually eat for dinner? Well, I feel like I change up my dinners. I guess maybe pasta. I have a lot of pasta for dinner. Do you believe in second chances? Absolutely. There's so many like times I've been given a second chance, even when I probably haven't deserved it. What is your idea of a perfect vacation? Somewhere warm with a beach and a pool and a margarita in my hand and just relaxing. What's your favorite thing in the world? Probably like Winnie. I feel like Winnie's been my answer to a lot of these or maybe Ian. Maybe Ian can be my favorite. What's your favorite color? Pink. What color clothing do you wear the most? I feel like I own a lot of black, honestly. I used to wear a lot of color and I'm just not into color anymore. I wear a lot of more neutral colors like black, white, or a little bit of brown. Do you like surprises? Literally, no. What's one thing you had to learn the hard way? Definitely not everyone has the same intentions as you. What's something you're tired of? School, literally school. Who do you turn it to when you're sad? Definitely Ian or my mom. Those are probably the two that I go to the most when I'm upset. What's a trend you would like to see disappear forever? Literally, people just being mean on TikTok comments. TikTok comments are so brutal. What did you want to do with your life at 12? At 12, I was really in my criminal minds era and I really thought I was gonna be in the FBI and work in the behavioral analysis unit. I really thought I was smart. And that is the last question. That took forever. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I'm gonna try to edit a lot of my ramblings out because I ramble a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye.